back everyone to video number 10. We're going to pick right up where we left off from video 9 and talk about a feature of the tables feature. Um, if you remember last video, we selected our data and we formatted it as a table. Um, by the way, you may notice my screen looks a little different. I am using a different computer uh, for this training tutorial, um, but the software is the same. Um, again, once we told Excel that this is a table, Excel does some interesting things, uh, mainly in the headers. They place these drop down buttons uh, beside each uh, field name. And uh, you can do some interesting things when you click on these drop downs. For example, if I wanted to sort alphabetically from A to Z, I could just click that. And now notice that my list is in alphabetical order. Um, I can also reverse it and go from Z to A, and it puts it in reverse order. And all the months, region, sales, commissions, they all stay uh, with their appropriate row. Um, you can also hide information. Notice down below the select all feature is checked. I can uncheck that, and let's pretend that I only want to see Bam Bam, Betty, I'm sorry, Bam Bam, Betty and Pebbles. And I'll just click OK. And now it's over on the left hand side now on the row that not all the row numbers are showing. That's because Excel is suppressing the rows uh, that, that contain the other people we don't want to see. Uh, so we only we told Excel we wanted to see Pebbles, Betty, and Bam Bam, and that's what we have. And it just kind of shrunk up the other rows. Um, to return back to that, just go to Select All and click OK. Um, you can also use combinations of the two. For example, I'm curious about uh, Fred, Wilma, and Pebbles. Okay, But I'm really only concerned about the month of March. So I'm going to unselect All and just select the month of March. So now we have two filters in place. Uh, we only have the, the Flintstone family here and we're only looking at the month of March. If you notice too on the actual drop down button there's a little symbol it looks like a funnel that's telling you that a filter is in place. Um, so uh, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go back and reselect all and reselect all my months also, another quick way to get rid of the filter is to go to your data tab and notice that the filter button, it looks like the funnel again, is highlighted. To, un to turn it off, just click on it again and notice that our drop down boxes go away. Uh, but to turn it back on, just click it again and notice their pop ups drop, show up again. So, again, filters allow you to ask some interesting information. For example, say I wanted to see all, or first of all, let's say I wanted to see my largest to smallest sales. Okay, now it sorts it by numerical value based on sales. Uh, your, your best salesperson's at the top and your lowest salesperson's at the bottom. And you're saying, well, Shane, really, I only want to see it for January. Let's see how they started the year. So by isolating January, we're still sorting from best to worst, but now we're only looking at the month of January. So that's kind of cool. Um, also, you let's go back and let's uh, let's uh, first of all let's remove our filter from month and let's go back and select all. So we turn on the all three months, and uh, now let's say, well, you know, it's, this is interesting. But I really want to see my top five. How can I do that? Well, Excel has some other uh, filter features as well. And one of them is called filter, number filters. And over to the right, you get a flyout menu that says uh, equals, does not equal, greater than or equal to, less, less than, less than or equal to, between two numbers, um, top 10, above average, below average, and then you have the ability to create a custom filter. Uh, let's look, click on the top 10 
and it's telling us I want to show the top 10 items. You can also say percent, but I want to say items here. But actually, I want to say five. I don't need 10. I want to see my top three total performers this year. So actually top five. Click OK. And now my, my list shrinks up dramatically. Um, and we see our top five salespeople and the month that they obtained those sales as well. So that is, some, and I also notice too, whenever you sort numerically, there's a little down arrow or up arrow. Let me show you what it looks like, smallest to largest. Notice the arrow's going up. If you select largest to smallest, the arrow's pointing down. So that's a real quick indicator of, um, of sorting numeric numbers. Okay, thanks for watching video 10. Go out and play. Take care.